Big in size, big in features. The only boat with a survey standard fit out and with the biggest price tag of them all. This is the Haynes Hunter 650R. Designed for the premium boat buyer, the Haynes Hunter 650R has everything you need in a modern trailer boat. Based in Melbourne, Haynes Hunter understand the needs of fishermen, needing to venture out further into the big blue for those magic fishing spots. The 650R comes equipped with more gadgets than a Swiss Army knife, with the 300 Yammy, exquisite detail in its finish, and the only boat here built to marine board survey standards. This is one special boat. The other thing that makes this 650R stand out is the power. 300 horsepower, Yamaha grunt, and it goes. The cabin on this boat is not what you call huge, but everything is well made. And look at this sound deadening liner, that's quality. And look at this, somewhere for the ladies to sit. And when there's no ladies, you can do this. So the Haynes Hunter 650H will be a hit with the ladies. But what about with the trailer boat judges? Does it have the performance to justify the price tag? I've had a, a pretty good look at the Haynes Hunter. A very impressive boat. It's pretty quick, very quick in fact. Uh, I had up around 47 knots and it was still climbing and it can handle the rough water. There are two ways you can go with boats. You can go light and super efficient and skip across the top. The other way you can go, and this is the way the fish hose like to go, it's kind of heavy and sits your boat in the water and just slice through it. This is the boat with the smooth ride for cutting through the waves. If it was my boat, I'd probably call it the axe. For a big boat, six and a half metre boat with 300 horsepower on the boat, the handling is like a little sports car. It handles very well. So I even got into power slides before. We went jumping off a few waves with it and it came down very softly. One thing I do like is that the floor is quite high in relation to the dashboard of the boat and the foredeck, so you've got a real panoramic view. It's uh, fairly airy, but you can actually hide behind the windscreen if need be. It's got clear, so in the big seas and there's plenty of water flying around, it's fine. There's a lot of innovation in it, even right down to where the anchor winch is set up there. It's a purpose-built bowsprit. It's the only boat here that's built to marine board survey. It's got a number of new features. It's got exceptionally good electronics in it as well. The X Factor is pretty good. If you're a petrol head, you'd like this one. It's got plenty of power, 300 horses on the back. It's a big yam. It's nice and quiet, smooth, plenty of punch. Certainly got the X Factor. There's no doubt about that. It's a beautiful looking boat. Its decals are great. The mouldings are all just beautifully presented and it works well. The whole boat feels like home as soon as you're sitting there. The Haynes Hunter Group has produced a true thoroughbred with exceptional standards of construction, componentry and finish. However, the big question is, in a field of exceptional boats, is it exceptional enough?